I'm Ali Bodley. I'm a heritage consultant and I've been working with the Wilderspin National School in Barton on Humber. I'm, I'm Ian, Ian Walsley. So I was the development officer in its origination. Now I'm a volunteer and on this project I've been working with Ali as a volunteer. We were inspired um, when we were opening up after COVID and we had a session where um, Older people started sharing their memories instantly with younger people, just on a normal museum tour. And that gave us the idea that we could do some intergenerational um, projects. So the idea behind this project was to try and reach um, people who were still sheltering from COVID or, or get, trying to get back to normal from COVID and see if we could also introduce um, school children to older people and develop a space where the public could just come in and um, use our objects, um, bring their older relatives and in enjoy uh, having objects to inspire them. The crucial thing is that the whole project is linked to the fact it's next to our cafe and it's really about joining the, the, the cafe and the museum together because both museum and cafe get distinct audiences with some overlap but this project was very much about exploring the synergy between the two parts of our business. We had an element of the budget on exhibition materials. Training was an element. One was dementia awareness, which was well received by the volunteers that came to that. We also opened it up to other museums as well. Part of the budget was actually for transport to help groups that are isolated. The most successful bit has been with the care homes and with the school. Um, so we had an amazing session where children, I think they're about age nine or ten, brought in their own toys and there were people from a care home, people with dementia. And we got out some of the school toys and we just put them together. And the results were completely amazing. By the time they left, they were hugging each other. We've developed a very strong relationship with that care home, which will be ongoing. Uh, and there's another care home that's desperate to come as well. So that's been really good. I've been involved with a few projects over the years, but of all those projects, this one has given me the most positive vibes as to, I think we're tapping into something here that we've only just begun to explore. New audiences, mixing audiences, involving new volunteers and so on. Um, and this crucial thing of of changing people's perceptions about what a museum is. This is a distinctive museum, it's a school museum, classrooms and so on. It's got, not got traditional glass cases and, and, and so on. And so I think it's been interesting to change people's perception that a museum can be something different from that. It can be a place, as we've created with this project, where you don't actually realise you're in a museum. The, the, they may be coffee shop customers that have come just for that, for refreshments, but find themselves sitting in what is an interesting environment and stimulating lots of memories about childhood and other things. So I think it's just, it's just pushed a few boundaries actually as to what, what a museum actually is. Because we've been going along to meetings, new contacts have been made. So I think in a few weeks time, museum volunteers are now going off to meet uh, another museum that we met through this process. Um, so in terms of that, that networking, uh, it's been a very important thing. And uh, obviously the funding is, is very welcome. I don't think we'd have gone down this path if the funding hadn't have been there or they were interested. So it's just given us that leeway to have a go and uh, experiment and to learn new skills. We have been lucky, we've um, recruited quite a few volunteers and it's been a focal point for us to bring those in. But they're now asking if we can widen it out to the wider volunteer body as well. So yeah, I think it's had quite a big impact on the uh, museum. <laughs>